Dog days of summer. August definitely starting out hot. And as Mark mentioned, that heat is going to stretch through the next few days. Channel 3's Lauren Richardson is live for us right now. She is in Guilford with more on how folks are beating the heat. Hi there, Lauren. <laughs> Hi, Mark and Aaron. Yeah, this isn't such a bad assignment for sure. I'm here at Bishop's, Bishop's Orchard, as you mentioned, in Guilford. And some people have just been out here uh, eating this sweet treat to cool off. Now, it seems to have emptied out right now because I think it is dinner time. But as Mark mentioned, we had some couple quick downpours. We still have a couple through the state, but not here. It's really sunny and hot here. Uh, so here's some video of earlier uh, when people were cooling off with that sweet treat. They've got a lot of ice cream flavors here, or if you're looking to go inside. You can shop their local produce, their baked goods. There's many ways to stay cool actually the next couple of days because it's going to be so hot out there with that impending heat wave on the way. So make sure you stay hydrated in the shade and on Thursday specifically limit your time outdoors if you can because it's going to be really brutally hot. As Mark mentioned those heat index values possible over 100 degrees. So we've been getting some mixed reviews so far on the heat. I would say it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's nice and cool under here. Maybe out in the sun, not so much, but here it's good underneath the, and with ice cream in front of us. I know that people are suffering because of it. That's the bad side of it. You know, some can handle it. If it's a vacation time, it's different. All right, this is a look at tomorrow's forecast. So if you've got any outdoor plans, it's going to be another sizzling day. Temperatures in Guilford are going to be mostly in the 80s, but inland, we're going to stick around in the 90s. Meanwhile, the good news is we're going to get a brief break from the humidity tomorrow. So I think that's going to feel really nice just for a short amount of time before it really, really scorches again. Here live in Guilford, I'm Lauren Richardson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Lauren, thank